Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today with another deck, a new, a new revamp deck of an older one with our beasties, with our girl Prissia. So all the new beasts came out in the new set, Epic of the Dragon Lord, and they work really well with her. So we're going to go back to Prissia for a minute and just see what we can do. Uh, but before we get into it guys, we remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It really just takes a dollar to give us some love and support and we'd greatly appreciate it. And also down below, you'll also find our link to our Force Wheel Grimoire app, which is our Force Wheel database slash deck builder. And it's a really good app just for using on the go if you're ever like out and about and you have like a deck idea come to mind and you're like, I need to put this down on paper somewhere. You're just like, cool, hit it up and then just put all the cards in there. Done. It's super easy way to build the decks. I've been building decks on it ever since because it's just super simple because it has every card that's in New Frontiers in there. And you're just like, I need that. Done. Yep. With that, guys, let's delve into Creature Comforts. So, our girl Prissia, she's got Stranger Rule, so you get 10 side deck Strangers, uh, Judgments for green, green, and red, and energizes a green and a red. Yep. Whenever a wind Regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If the Regalia is Claw of the Sacred Beast, you choose two. Choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. Get a 606 Wind Beast. Uh, put two Friendship Counters on your ruler, and then pay zero for Judgment. Those are the four that you can choose from. More often than not, you're going to get Stranger and get two Friendship Counters. Yeah, because those will just stack up too quickly. Yeah, and in this deck, the Friendship Counters are going to be super deadly. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then when she Judgments, she turns into a 7-7 seven, seven Swiftness, which is kind of mm. rough, but she does still count as a Beast, which actually matters. And God's Art, Real Power, Friendship. She's green, green, and a red for double the attack and defense of J. Risen as you control until the end of turn. So she can alpha strike one turn and just make things nuts. If only she had the piercing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Her strangers, we're using most of the big strangers because it's just they're really, really strong. Uh, Ushua, the Flame Swordsman, he is three red and one for 17-17. Enter. This card deals 1,700 damage to target Resonator. If that damage would deal enough to kill it, it deals the rest over to the player. So, uh, like... I don't know how many times this guy has just made me very sad. Yeah, so you're like, oh, you have a 10-10? You're like, cool, shoot it for 10, you take 7. Yeah. That's essentially how he works, and it's just super strong. Uh, next is Regulus, the king of the volcano, the number one beast you play with Prisia. Yeah. Because she, he is a 10-10, three-drop beast... And he's got Swiftness, and whenever this card is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to your opponent. So he just, he automatically gets big and angry with Prissia because of the claw. And then he, he just, just, every, just be able to be like, I swing amazingly, and it's really good. And I've always got that no matter what in our, our brawls for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, next up is Hino Mikoto, the Flaming God of Fate. He is four red and one for a 2020. Enter, this card deals 10,000 or 1,000 damage to your opponent and each J Resonator they control. So he comes in and clears their board for the most part and they take a free 10 damage. Yep. Like, cool. And he's a 20 20. Yeah. That's all you need. If he hits the play and stays, he'll end the game pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, Barus, the machine god of, create, of conflagration, he is two red for an 8 8. Resonators you control get plus two plus zero oh while attacking. Awaking a green, they get pierce. Awakening a red, J Resonators get swiftness. So. You pay four, he gets Swiftness, Pierce, and all your other dudes get it. And with the Claw, that's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, I have Amphisbena, the two-headed dragon. So two green for a 6-12. We're flying in Pierce, and you pay green until the end of turn. This card would deal damage. It does double damage instead. Plays ability only once per turn. And this is for when you alpha with her God's Art. If you get to, you're just like, cool, he's 12. You take double damage. Yeah, pretty much. All right, and the first one, of course, we have to have is Yudrasil, Heroic Spirit. It's a one colorless drop. It's a zero four, enter. Search your deck for a Regalia that shares the same attribute of the will that you produced a player. And then when uh, you can tap, produce one will of any attribute, spin this only to play a Regalia. Simple as that. Yeah, and this deck lives and dies by its Regalia, yeah, so you have so to have it. you need that. Uh, next is one of the new guys for the deck, the Ground Splitter Rabbit slash Split Heaven and Earth. So Ground Splitter Rabbit is a one red for a Swiftness Pierce Beast. Yep. Uh, if this if this card would deal damage while it is damaged, it deals double that instead. Pay red beast you control or beast get plus two plus zero. Oh. Just so. in general, beasts. Yeah. And then his chance side, which is Split Heaven and Earth, is this card does three hundred damage to each player for each special magic stone they control, and it's two red. Yeah, you're gonna take damage in this deck, but it doesn't matter. Like if they yeah. take more, you're winning that. Exactly. The next one, of course, is Firefox. Enter. It's a one drop. 
four four. This card may deal 400 damage to you. If it does, it gains plus 100 in swiftness until in the turn. And it's a beast, so you might be taking 400, but they can also be taking a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, they're going to probably take more from that, dude. Uh, next is one of the best red cards printed. Yep. Uh, Arl, the, the seven-tailed fox slash Arl's flame. It is two red for Arl, and he is a 6-8 beast. Whenever, this, whenever damage is dealt to this card, it deals that much damage to target player or J resonator. Awesome. Good. Pay three red, put this card from a graveyard into the field. So he comes back. Anytime, just as a blocker. Yeah. And then quick cast is the chant, Arl's Flame. It is one red. This card does four, or, yeah, it's one red. This card does 1400 damage divided as you choose between two targets, yours and one of your opponents. And, and each target has to take at least two. So you're like, cool, target your resonator and my dude, my dude can take four, your dude can take 10. Yeah. Simple. And if you have Aro, you're just like, cool, my dude's going to take 14, you're going to take, or my dude will take 12. Because in this deck, your beasts are going to be stronger, so he can take more damage. Exactly. That'll be great. All right, next one is Prissia, Pursuit of Exploding Flame. It's a green and a red and one for a 7-4 beast. It has Swiftness, Precision, Burst Strike, which is ridiculous. And when uh, pay a green, <laughs> card cane's flying, just because. And then, whenever this card is put in the graveyard from the field, it deals 500 damage to the target opponent. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty nuts. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Uh, next is the Thunder Wolf slash Thunder. He's three red for a nine nine beastie. He's got swiftness. This card gains precision, first strike, and plus four plus four as long as you control, as long as your opponent controls a damage J resonator. And the chain is Thunder. Pay a red, quick cast. This deals five hundred damage to target player or J slash resonator. Yeah. So with all these, you notice that most of them just have swiftness to go in and. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them already have swiftness and their beasts. Oh yeah. Okay, the first spell, of course, is Perseus' Call to Action. It's a one green chant. You may pay one less to play this card if you target a beast. Target Resonator gains swiftness and precision until in a turn, draw a card. So it replaces itself, and it could be completely free if need be. Uh, next is Perseus' Encouragement. <clears throat> it is one green for a sword art, quick cast. Target J Resonator you control it deals damage equal to its attack to target J Resonator your opponent controls. <clears throat> If this card is awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. Awakening for a red. Simple as that. It's it's what crowd control is what you need to do. Yeah, it, it gives you a kill spell and it's free low because of your regalia. And it just does one-sided. All right, just making sure. Monstrous Rush. It's a two green and bear with me here. So if this is the first chant you played this turn, put a 7-7 seven, seven Wind Beast Resonator token So with Pierce. So that's a two drop Pierce dude, which is really good. If it's a second chant you played this turn, which with a Perseus Call to Action could be done pretty quickly, you put a 10-10 Wind Beast Resonator token with Swiftness. And of course, if it's the third chant you played this turn, put a 12-12 Wind Beast Resonator token that has pierced into the field. If it's the fourth one or any other one after that, then you get to do all three, which is pretty good. Yeah, and regardless which one you get, they're all going to be gross in this deck because they all are beasts. Yeah, all of them. And with her kill spells, cheap, and then Perseus Call can be literally free. You can mm -hmm. get that one really quick. And what makes it so gross is Claw of the Sacred Beast. It is a green and a red. Uh, beast and Sacred Beast you control get plus one, plus one for each friendship counter on your J Ruler. Tap, produce two wills in any combination of red or green. Spin this only to play God's Arts, Strangers, or Sword Arts. Yep. So, so literally you're just like, cool, the, the Claw's going to tap for mana for your Strangers and your like one or two spells. And otherwise, you're just going to be like, my, my dudes, dudes are, are big. big. My dudes are big. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, Burning Rabbit Dash. Super cute. It's two red. Put three, three, three beast resonator tokens with swiftness. And then when this card is put in the graveyard in the field, it deals 200 damage to target J slash resonator onto the field. So there you go. Yeah. More beasts to, with swiftness to make your life difficult. Just two red too as well. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we have Super Beast Burning Rush. It is two red and two green for a sword art. You put a friendship counter on your J Ruler. If this card is awakened, choose X times for X is the following at random, where X is the number of friendship counters on your ruler. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, this card deals 500 damage to your opponent, or put a 5 6 6 Beast Resonator with Swiftness into play. Recover up to two Magic Stones you control. Choose a card from your Stranger Deck at random and put it in your hand. Yeah. And then you can awaken it for two red and two green. It might happen, probably not, but. Yeah, for the most part, you're gonna pay four and choose these at random and get all kinds of value. Oh yeah. 
that is it for the main part of the deck. The stones are really simple. We are playing Magic Stone of the Blasting Wave, Adaractes Memoria, and the Fire Magic Stone because we're mostly red and we're just playing red-green. Yep. Red-green Stompy because beasts are gross right now with all the like pump that they get. Yeah, if you just want to not think and play dudes and swing, this is this is it. This is the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys. The deck list will be down below. Go check it out and then leave us a like and let us know what you think about it. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.